Hi guys, my name is Angela. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to talk about some of my tips and things you can do in the summer to prepare you for your first year of university as a computer science student. As mentioned in my previous videos, I attend the University of Toronto at Mississauga campus studying computer science. And I know every individual is different, so this video is just some of my tips uh, and things I learned along the way in my first year. So feel free to make things more personalized and works the best for you. So now let's dive into the video. Most of my first year courses are either computer science related or math related. And to apply for CS Post, the two most important courses is MAT 102 and CSC 148. I think I will go into more details about these two courses first and then talk a little bit about the other courses at the end. Let's talk about MAT 102, which is a mathematical proof course. MAT 102 was pretty challenging at the beginning. Unlike uh, regular math courses, um, that's like more calculation based, uh, this proof course requires you to work on, uh, you know, start with a certain proposition or theorem that is true and then work your way backwards to the original problem. It definitely have flipped my understanding about math and make me question about can I actually do math or not. However, with dedication and hard work, I believe it's pretty achievable to achieve a 73, which is the CS postmark uh, in this course. So in the summer, I definitely recommend you uh, to start skimming through the MIT 102 uh, textbook that is written by uh, prof uh, Professor Shea. So first, uh, you don't have to try to understand everything because it's pretty confusing and complicated at the beginning. I would say just have a general idea of what the topic's about. And then after that, uh, target yourself to study the first three chapters, which is about, I, I believe, arithmetic geometric inequality, um, quadratic formulas, and logical statements, and a little bit about induction and stuff like that. I believe that's chapter four. Um, start with those topics first because I think they're a little bit easier to understand uh, than the later topics. Uh, cardinality is like really bad, I think. And then divisibility is a like, little bit better, but yeah, but like first, focus on the first three chapters. And also a big help would be watching um, one of the MAT102's TA's videos on YouTube offers a lot of great and detailed explanations about like uh, what these theorems are. And she also goes through like a ton of tutorial questions and some of the exam problems. Definitely check out her videos and it definitely has helped me a lot in terms of understanding the course concepts and stuff like that and I definitely feel a lot a little bit more prepared when I go into the course. And during your school year, um I think the best way to learn about proof is simply just to cram more practice problems. This course I would say definitely require a lot of patience and dedications and I remember spending five to six hours um before like you know, a quiz or a midterm, just doing, you know, proof problems and keep rewatching uh, the TA's videos. And it was definitely very, very frustrated. And uh, I can promise you that there are so many times I kind of just want to throw my iPad and snap, like snap on the ground because I generally feel like I cannot do math anymore. But honestly, if you, you know, you put your mind to it and really trying to understand the concepts, you will be fine on the quiz. Like it's the quiz, I think it's not as hard as the homework problems and the assignment problems that they assign to you because you only have this certain amount of time. So really to do well on the quizzes and midterms, I believe is just, you know, to cram more problems in to 
uh, see the different question types. And I think that's how you can, you know, uh, really ace this course. Another big uh, thing that I think I did uh, great on was doing all of the tutorial problems before I even go to the tutorial. For some of you guys who don't know what a tutorial is, a tutorial is basically a extra hour practice session that's outside of your course that you get to do, you know, practice problems on uh, the previous materials you learn with a teaching assistant and other students. Since there's only one hour, a lot of times uh, I found that the teaching assistant uh, doesn't have time to go through the whole tutorial questions uh, worksheet, especially the problems at the end. And those problems are tend to be the tougher ones and the ones you might see on a test. I what I would suggest you to do is finish your tutorial problems and maybe start a little bit uh, on your textbook as well. So when you go into the, your tutorial, you can ask your uh, TA questions and, you know, answer, like getting those answers. Because I do think that whenever I go to the math learning center for help, uh, there tend to be a lot more students. So really using your tutorial time to ask questions is gonna save you time and energy. So I think CIC 148 is definitely one le level harder than MAT 102. The reason why is that we have been doing math uh, for like the past 18 years before we enter college. But computer science is something more novel and abstract for some of us, at least, I mean, to me. So in my opinion, I think this course is actually the course that caught more, uh, most of the CS applicant out, uh, out of, you know, the CS posts. To succeed in this course, first, you have to familiarize yourself with the Python uh, coding language. Great place to start learning about Python. I think it will be this website called HackerRank. So HackerRank, uh, it's pretty good, I think, because it has a lot of basic uh, beginner-friendly coding challenges, but there's also uh, more like medium and hard questions that pass you more on problem solving and algorithm thinking. I think a great thing you can do is first familiarize yourself with the basic built-in data structures like list, dictionary, strings, and stuff like that in Python uh, first, and then practice those concepts in HackerRank uh, doing those coding challenges. Start with the easy ones just to get the basic syntax down. If you feel like if you're pretty good about Python, I think you can start learning the more complicated data structures. Like I said, uh, stacks, queens, linked lists, trees are going to be big topics in CSE 148. Up level and you feel like you can, you know, cr you know, climb a mountain or everything, um, you can start doing some Leco problems. Us who don't know what Leco is, Leco is basically a website where it has a lot of coding uh, problems that is uh, actually given in a actual interview by a lot of uh, tech companies. As I was looking through a little bit uh, in the summer, I realized that a lot of those easy LECO problems that test you on the concepts of linked lists, trees, binary trees, are actually the algorithms that I uh, learned in CSE 148. And I have not done any of these, you know, before my first year. So I think that's why I was so unprepared. Definitely, I think taking a look at those algorithms would be a great thing to do before the summer if you, you, you feel like you have a good understanding uh, on those complicated data structures. And there's also other problems that's related to other algorithms, which I found pretty interesting as well. So, you know, you can also take a look at those and just see how things works.
And trust me, easy Liko problems are definitely not easy. And don't feel discouraged if you feel like it's really tough because they're meant to be tough because they're like problems that's giving on an interview. So it's really if you feel like you're stuck uh, for an hour or so, just, you know, look at the solution and learn it on your own. So the other math courses. So the other math courses that you will take would be calculus and if you're considering you know a backup major or uh, one or two major in uh, stats, uh, MAT223 would be a great choice. Um, for calculus you can pick either MAT137 which I th it's calculus but um, there's more proofs in it and MAT135 and 136. So I choose MAT135 and MAT136 because um, I have t took uh, calculus before uh, in my high school. So I feel like taking those courses would be better for me. And so then, because then I can devote more energy in uh, my other two courses. Calculus is just the the matter of doing a lot of practice questions and uh, looking through videos on YouTube. So for MAT223, if you're not aiming for, you know, an A, you don't like, which you really don't have to, um, I think just focusing on the calculation portion of the course, which is uh, big topics, finalization, matrices, uh, and I think invertibility and stuff like that. Just focus on the more memorization part of the course would easily get you a 70% uh, at the end. By it was really difficult. I still really enjoyed the course and it was really, really interesting in my opinion. And I don't have to take a second year. So I have extra room. Uh, for the electives that I want to take. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and we will see you next time. Bye!